CBS3 WeatherMax forecast with meteorologist Austin Haskins. Well, good morning and happy Friday. We're off to a warmer start across the region. This is a look at yesterday's almanac. We hit a high of 22, so we are one degree above average. We're going to be a few more degrees above average for your day today. And then it continues into your Saturday and Sunday. So 22 degrees yesterday, one degree for the low. So that was a little bit on the cooler side. But temperatures, of course, right now we're looking at current conditions here in Canal Park. 21 degrees, mostly cloudy skies, but we've got pretty breezy winds out of the east right now. So that is bringing that 21 degrees down to what it feels like, about 8 degrees. So it is going to be on a chillier start this morning. And unfortunately, we're not going to see too much sunshine in the early afternoon hours to really feel super warm. But it will be warmer because winds are going to start to shift out of the south and west. And as winds shift out of the south and west, that's going to bring in those warmer air and those more milder temperatures. So we see that low pressure kind of hanging over top of us for the day today. That's bringing us those low stratus clouds. So we are seeing some fog in the Iron Range, the Arrowhead, and the south shore, of course, because we're going to see those lower clouds all day today and then as that warm front skirts across the region with that warmer advection we're going to see some potential lift for some lake enhanced and some scattered freezing drizzle we could even see some freezing drizzle here in the twin ports and that really only is going to do anything but make the roads slippery we're not going to see accumulation from that but slippery roads are a possibility 26 degrees for the high today Saturday, high pressure builds in from our south. We've got this nice ridge of high pressure behind this warm front. So behind this warm front, we've got that surge of warm air. For the day on Saturday, we'll see partly sunny skies and a high near 33 degrees. Now Sunday, much like Saturday, but more sunshine and warmer. So we'll see that high pressure continue to slide to our south. We'll see more sunshine, like I mentioned, and we're going to hit our high of 35 degrees for the day on Sunday and remain on the dry side. So timing it out for you on the future cast. 10 o'clock this morning, those clouds, like I mentioned, areas south of Duluth. So areas in northern Wisconsin could see some peaks of sunshine, but for the most part, we're going to see those overcast skies. Here is that 20% chance that I'm mentioning. From Silver Bay to Grand Marais has that past possibility for the help of the lake enhanced and of course freezing drizzle to coat those roadways with some slipperier conditions. But by midnight tonight, we've got that outskirts of that low pressure system moves off to our region and we start to see clearing skies Saturday morning all day long on Saturday. So that's plenty of sunshine in store for the day tomorrow. Today, cloudy skies remain with us for much of the day. We'll see a few peaks of sunshine just areas south of Duluth. 26 up on the hill, 28 down by the lake. Temperatures in the upper 20s and even some lower 30s for those areas in Hayward Spooner. They may see some sunshine, so that will help them to get into those 30s. Tonight, temperatures drop into the upper teens for northern Wisconsin, low teens for areas to northern Minnesota because they're going to start to see those clearing skies more so faster than we will over in the Twin Ports. 16 up on the hill, 19 down by the lake. Seven-day forecast is a pretty nice stretch of the seven-day in terms of temperatures because every single day on this seven-day forecast is on the above average temperature as above our average is about 22 degrees so every single temperature on here is above 22 meaning that saturday is first day of winter it's nice to see a seven day stretch above above zero number one and above average you number love two. to see it yeah those are all pretty good numbers i'm happy about it my car is going to be a lot happier <laughs> Your car about will it. enjoy these that, It's the going to maybe days. stop making those weird noises that <laughs> yes, it's been making I the agree. past couple weeks thanks caitlin yeah.